There is something to be said about the Dunning-Kruger effect and what it entails with a lot of liberals, because I could be speaking to someone who's well-versed academically, someone who's done his research, or I could be speaking to someone who's 14 years old and doesn't really know a lot about anything outside of television, that they all speak against me or people of similar viewpoints, or even people of any viewpoint at this sense against the modern liberal agenda, and they say it with such confidence, so much so that someone like a female would say, all right, this is the person, the confident person that does know who he or she is talking about. And that's my issue with the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's the fact where the people that know the least rank their ability the most. Low-skilled people, high-skilled game. And then the opposite, of course, is true. So what you have is a bunch of really intellectual Aspies who, because the burden of proof is placed on them, they're made to look fucking stupid, catatonic, unimpressive, and it becomes a squash up whenever there's something like a debate. For example, with Fringe Elements and the Skeptical Heretic, especially. That's like the perfect scenario of the Dunning-Kruger effect. But of course, Fringe Elements, I've learned to realize, ain't that much of a big deal. I mean, any of those skeptical heretic debates on race and IQ, they're basically just a bunch of Aspies throwing together some American Renaissance bullshit, which is just low-level, not even racialist, Comic-Con stuff. And if you've seen one of their events, you've seen all of them. But again, if you're not that knowledgeable, you'd think that the skeptical heretic's the smartest guy in the world. Because he has the ego. He has the confidence. He has the Dunning-Kruger effect where he doesn't know much, but he can outclass anybody because of his confidence. And I'm realizing that the Dunning-Kruger effect is pretty much effective in any environment when, when it comes to bullying thousands in the school system, especially the underachieving ones, or even the overachieving ones, when it comes to, I guess, hold on, I got a notification on Facebook. These niggas need to get the fuck off my dick. And it also happens when you see. I should close my Facebook tab whenever I'm making a YouTube video because my train of thought is easily compromised by any parentheses with a one in between it. But anyway, it's also a nasty effect when it comes to females, because every female I speak to on politics, when I say that this guy does not know what he's talking about, let's say Russell Brand, and especially Russell Brand, goes to say, but he sounds so confident in his viewpoints, he sounds like he knows what the fuck he's talking about. And I'm telling these girls, that's not how it works. Usually it's the opposite. <laughs> I mean, there are confident people that do know what they're talking about, but they're actually thinking about what they have to say, and they're actually utilizing their brain. They're not <laughs> doing this kind of lazy stuff. I know there's one guy, every time we're having a intellectual conversation, the burden of proof is always on me. 
And that's the main tactic. Liberals love that shit. And it just makes more problems. There's a Dunning-Kruger effect, and there's the fact that the burden of proof is usually put on those that know the most, yet lack the confidence, or are more pensive, they're actually trying to think about this shit, they're not just dropping mantras. And even white nationalists are guilty of this bullshit. Anyway, uh, I'm about to make another video straight after this, so this is Mr. Monka 7. I hope an atheist cult member didn't cause you to fail to get laid or something. And Let's see. Could I'm Kush. All right.